How did the wealthiest people in the world obtain their wealth? What are some of the key traits that led them down the road to riches and wealth? Maybe we can find out some of these key traits by taking a look at one of the wealthiest black men in the United States, Mr. Robert Frederick Smith. Let's get into it. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into it, I would like to ask my viewers to help wish me and my wife a happy anniversary. Four years strong and plenty more to come. I love you, baby. It's something special when you find that one you can love, grow, and build with. It's a beautiful thing. Most of the wealthiest men in the world know how priceless a good woman is. Now, back to Mr. Robert F. Smith. Let's get into it. Welcome to Peace of the Power with Ty. I'm Ty, and I appreciate you guys coming to check my channel out. If you like any of the content in this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out with other people finding this video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My channel is about making sure everyone is aware of the different avenues to get a piece of the pie. Today, we'll be talking about Mr. Robert F. Smith. Robert Frederick Smith, born December 1st, 1962, which makes him 58 years old, is an American businessman, philanthropist, chemical engineer, and investor. Robert F. Smith is the world's third wealthiest black man and sits at number one for wealthiest black man in America, according to my sources. Nope, it's not a rapper, it's Robert F. Smith. So, if you guys don't know him, you definitely should know him because that's a pretty big title. It's hard enough to gain wealth, let alone being colored of skin in America. It's pretty tough. Believe me. I know. I know. Smith was born to Dr. William Smith and Dr. Sylvia Smith. So, yes, it's noted that both of his parents are doctors, meaning they're well-educated. They both were school teachers. He grew up in a predominantly African-American middle-class area in Denver, Colorado. When he was an infant, his mother carried him on the March on Washington, which is epic. So while she was listening to Dr. Martin Luther King give his I Have a Dream speech, she was carrying Robert F. Smith. So her dreams came true because as you guys know, that speech did a lot for integrating the culture and allowing everyone to get the same benefits when it comes to schooling. It was definitely an epic time when Dr. King was speaking. And again, I know his parents were overjoyed hearing his words while carrying a child that would actually get the fruits of Dr. King's labor. In high school, he applied for an internship at Bell Labs and they told him that the internship was only for college students. Smith persisted and called them each Monday for five months straight. When a student from MIT didn't show up, he got the position and that summer, he developed a reliability test for semiconductors. So that right there tells you persistence, dedication. He got denied and he persisted. He stayed the course. He kept trying to obtain his goal even though he was getting shut down. Persistence might be one of those key factors. Smith earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and he received his master's of business administration from Columbia University. After graduating from Cornell University, he started his career at Goodyear. Then he moved to Kraft's General Foods as a chemical engineer. From 1994 to 2000, he worked for Goldman Sachs in technology investment banking, first in New York and then in Silicon Valley. 
he advised on merger and acquisition activity with companies like Apple and Microsoft. In 2000, Smith founded Vista Equity Partners, a private equity and venture capital firm. Smith is accredited with giving his investors a consistent 30% rate of return, so he's an excellent investment advisor, kind of like the black Warren Buffett, but maybe better. As of 2019, Vista Equity Partners was the fourth largest enterprise software company after Microsoft, Oracle, and SAP. In 2016, Smith was named as Private Equity International's Game Changer of the Year for his work with Vista. In 2019, PitchBook Private Equity Awards named Vista Equity Partners Deal Makers of the Year. A couple other accolades, Smith became board chairman of Carnegie Hall in 2016, and this made him the first African American to ever hold that title. And this one was pretty cool. In 2019, while at Morehouse to receive an honorary doctorate and give the commencement speech, he announced that he and his family was going to pay off all the debt of that class graduate which was 396 students i know it's a small thing to a billionaire but that's pretty cool and it emphasized another key trick about him he's all about education so he was all about education which is a big deal so some of the key factors that robert smith had determination he showed early on that he had determination and he was going to keep trying to achieve his goals. We can transcend the script of a predefined story and pave the way for the future that we design. We just need to tap into that power, that conviction, and determination within us. Robert F. Smith, who's also all about education and investment. Don't sleep on education. I know with student loans and all of that, it kind of makes it hard for some people to go to school, but it's very important. The system makes education expensive as a turn off to keep different class of people from landing the best jobs. So make sure you get educated. And Robert F. Smith is a great role model for other people of color to show that you can make money without being on a stage without wanting to play a sport, you can make money other ways by using your head and not just your physical. It's not many people that we idolize of color that solely make money because of this. And that's why I really idolize Mr. Robert F. Smith. Thanks for sticking with me through the video. And if you like any of the content in this video, please hit that like button and share it. Not everybody knows Mr. Robert F. Smith, and that's a shame. Make sure you guys share this video because it might help someone else find a role model. I appreciate you guys checking me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and come back and see me. I got plenty more to talk about. Thanks.